sickness. That's the last yes. thing that needs to be done before <laughs> we really get into the weekend. I know. I'm looking forward to it. And really from a travel standpoint, whether it's Santa in his sleigh or most of us in our vehicles, it's looking really nice out there from a temperature standpoint. Condition-wise, too, really good as well. Albeit there is a little brewing instability on the west side of the mountains right now. So that's what we're keeping an eye on when it comes to the next 6 to 12 hours here. Because we will see this track onto the other side of the mountains. And bring the potential for some flurries or even some wet snow uh, into the city in the early morning hours as we head into your Saturday. But let's talk about the temperatures today. My goodness, it was another well above seasonal day out there for uh, the second official day of winter. Feeling more like spring once again. 10 degrees for Calgary. That's what we got to today very close to a record-breaking temperature of 13.3 degrees in the city. That was all the way back in 1899. Uh, but really, the hottest place in the province and the whole country was Fincastle, just east of Lethbridge, got up to 14.8 degrees today. What we're sitting at right now, 6 degrees in Red Deer, 0 in Sundry, 2 in Bicycle. More cold air starting to push into the province. That includes us here in Calgary as well. 5 degrees right now, 3 in Prince Creek, and 4 degrees in Lethbridge. And we're going to just continue the cooling trend over night and tomorrow's looking a little closer to seasonal on the temperature front but here's a look uh, this should be snowfall my apologies uh, for the next 24 hours we're going to see uh, our biggest chance of snow probably between midnight and to about four o'clock if you're in the Banff area pretty similar situation you might get a bit more of snow in that higher elevation as for Lethbridge also could see some flurries in the early morning hours of Saturday but it tapers off by the noon hour Hour. For your upper air setup, so we do have this trough moving in. That's bringing that instability in the, into the overnight. And some cooler temperatures and breezy conditions for your Saturday. But really conditions for what looks to be the rest of the year uh, being nice and above seasonal. we got this ridge developing on Sunday afternoon there. That's going to bring more heat and stability into the forecast by Christmas Day. Looking very warm and stable. Little bit parts of central Alberta might get a little bit of instability from a trough moving through. But really this five-day forecast showing a climbing temperature trend starting on Christmas, getting up to four degrees on Tuesday and five by midweek next week. Tara. Thank you, Gina. Still to our Capital Chef Skywatch camera. Pretty calm evening so far. Nice, clear conditions out there after a really lovely warm day that again was more reminiscent of spring than the winter season we're actually in right now. And when it comes to temperatures, uh, we're not going to see very frigid conditions really throughout the next stretch of 2023 here before we wrap things up and get into the new year. Uh, we reached that high of 10 degrees this afternoon and that's not the only time we've hit double digit temperatures throughout December here. Uh, we are sitting at 2 degrees right now so starting to cool down. Low pressure is moving in and we're going to see some overnight instability but this map here shows what the last 12 hours were like and as it resets you can see how the heat was really building in uh, the southern part of the province especially in the Lethbridge Milk River Medicine Hat areas getting very warm into the mid-teens today and again Calgary not too far behind uh, find later was the uh, or Finn later excuse me, Finn Castle excuse me was the hot spot in all of Canada today with a, a high of almost 15 degrees but this is the low pressure I was talking about starting to track in so we're already seeing some mixed precipitation in the interior of BC that'll track over the mountains into Calgary it's also going to bring this sweeping arm uh, uh, cold front as well so we're going to feel a big shift in the temperatures as we get into your Saturday afternoon. But here's the setup when it comes to that snow. So it's already starting to track over the mountaintops there. By around midnight, we'll start to see it develop over Calgary and really start to take hold at around 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. But it's a quick moving system. So this is going to move out pretty uh, fast. And by around 1 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow, mostly sunny conditions to look forward to. Breezy though, again, that cold front will be moving in after all that precipitation. So we're expecting some gusty northwesterly winds that will really start to uh, take hold throughout the afternoon. Overall, with this snowfall system, maybe cent seven centimeters, but it's been so warm. We're not expecting much of that to stick on the ground. Mainly sunny in Salmon Arm tomorrow, two degrees, minus three in Golden. Lots of sunshine in the capital city at two degrees, minus one in Drum. Heller and that extreme south part of the province seeing more of that lingering precipitation from that low pressure system. Overall though your seven day trend showing a little dip on the temperature front close to seasonal before we climb back up into the positives by Monday. Thank you Gina. It's one of the busiest